today we're cooking up three different meats in our air fryer. And two of these you probably would have never thought to put in your air fryer and cook them, but they turn out fabulous. I'm gonna show you how to make chicken legs, which you may have already made in your air fryer, but this is a special recipe, as well as scallops and short ribs. Let's get started. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new keto recipe. And also, let me know down in the comments if you guys have an air fryer and what is your favorite food you like to make in your air fryer. To make our chicken legs in the air fryer, first you wanna pat it dry with a paper towel. This will just help get any excess moisture from it. Moisture is not your friend when it comes to getting crispy skin on chicken when you air fry it. Next, I'm gonna lightly season it with a mixture of salt and pepper. Now, to make our marinade for the chicken legs, I'm gonna use two tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon of butter, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, two tablespoons of minced shallot, two teaspoons of garlic, and a quarter cup of parsley. Mix this until combined, and then we're just gonna scoop it on top of our chicken, and then rub it around so that everything is evenly coated. I like to let this marinate for around eight to 12 hours or overnight, but it's okay if you actually just wanna air fry it right away, it still turns out delicious. Just marinating it allows for more of those flavors to penetrate through. Once it's time to air fry our chicken legs, you wanna preheat your air fryer at 400 degrees for about five minutes. This will ensure that your skin on the outside of the chicken legs does get crispy. Place your chicken legs on your air fryer pan or in the basket. Make sure you do have some space around each chicken leg, just because an air fryer works by air circulation, so it's getting over every single item of food. So the more space you have in between, the crispier our skin is gonna get and the better it's gonna cook. You wanna air fry at around 390 degrees to 400 degrees for around 10 minutes and make sure you flip your legs halfway through. Air frying our chicken legs really makes for some juicy chicken meat on the inside as well as a crispy skin on the outside. Before we move on to our next recipe, I just wanted to take a few minutes to thank our sponsor, which is Built Bar. You guys have heard me talk about them before. They are keto-friendly protein bars and they come in a huge selection of flavors. So many from like banana nut, cookies and cream. There's like a lemon one. This one is toffee almond, which is really good. Peanut butter chocolate one. So many different flavors. You will not believe how many is out there. You guys should check out their website. I'll have it listed down below, as well as a way that you could save 20% on your order when you click on that link down below. Look at this mint brownie. There's apple almond crisp, um, salted caramel, coconut. So many flavors, you guys. Definitely check them out. Up next, we're gonna air fry some short ribs. Now the short ribs that I like to put in my air fryer are flank and cut. They are the thinner cuts. Um, a lot of times it's used for Korean barbecue. So I thought it would be appropriate to kind of have almost like a Korean barbecue style marinade for these short ribs. To make our marinade for the short ribs, you're gonna add a quarter cup of liquid aminos. Now liquid aminos are just kind of like the keto version of soy sauce. You could use soy sauce if you wanted to in this recipe. Just know that soy sauce does have carbohydrates in it. So that would just be added carbohydrates to this. You'll also need two tablespoons of golden monk fruit, or you could use a golden sweetener of your choice, one third cup of rice wine vinegar, one tablespoon of sesame oil, two teaspoons of pepper, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, 
half a teaspoon of ginger powder, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Whisk this together until it's combined, and then moving on to our short ribs, I'm gonna pat them dry first with a paper towel, and then put them into a glass baking dish and pour my marinade on top. You wanna make sure that each of our short ribs gets coated in the marinade. Marinate it for around like six to eight hours or overnight if you'd like, and just maybe flip halfway through just so that everything gets coated in your marinade. When we go to air fry our short ribs, we're gonna take them out of our marinade and then air fry them at around 400 degrees for six minutes. You wanna flip halfway through again like we did for our chicken legs. These short ribs are so good. They're juicy on the inside, perfectly cooked, and this light crisp on the outside. Plus, it's sugar-free too. Next, I'm gonna show you how to make air fryer scallops. Now, this is one meat that you probably would have never thought that you could cook in your air fryer, but trust me, it cooks them perfectly. These are the scallops that I'm using. These are sea scallops, or larger scallops than your typical, I think it's a bay scallop. So these are big ones that I picked up at the grocery store. And on my website, I'll have some tips on how to pick up some fresh scallops and what to look for. So I'll have that link down below for you guys, or you just go to ketofocus.com. Before you air fry your scallops, you wanna rinse them first with some water and then pat them completely dry with a paper towel. We don't want to have excess moisture while we are air frying these because it will make for a dry scallop. Then we're gonna season them with some salt and pepper. Make sure you do this right before you go to cook them in the air fryer. If you leave them salted any longer than 15 minutes, that salt's gonna pull out that moisture that's naturally inside your scallop and you're also gonna get a dry scallop. Line these on your air fryer tray or basket. Just have a little bit of space in between each just to allow for that even air circulation. And then we're gonna air fry these at 400 degrees for 10 minutes and make sure you turn them halfway through. While our scallops are cooking in the air fryer, I'm gonna make a creamy garlicky lemon sauce to go on top. So in a skillet, I'm gonna add some butter along with two cloves of minced garlic. I'm gonna cook that until it starts to get fragrant. You wanna cook this over a low heat, maybe even low to medium heat. You don't wanna burn your garlic or the rest of your sauce. We're also gonna add two tablespoons of heavy cream, a tablespoon of white wine, and two teaspoons of lemon juice. Stir that together until the sauce starts to get thickened, and then you can remove it from the heat. Drizzle this over your air fryer scallops and then top with some minced parsley. It's so good, you guys. This is one recipe that I really think you guys should make, especially if you love seafood. Make sure you guys check out my other keto air fryer videos. I'll have some linked up here in a playlist or down below in the description box for you. I have lots of other keto air fryer recipes on my website, so make sure you check that out.